What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to year number three of the Buffalo Bills Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on the channel. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally here. Year number three. It's about time. We went through the offseason coming off of our second straight Super Bowl trip and our second trip, second strip, second straight Lombardi trophy. And boy, have I changed the team up. I have added some major talent to this roster. You guys may or may not have seen it in the off-camera preseason trading video, but I have added some major pieces to this puzzle right here. Number one being William the Refrigerator Perry. That is right. He is on our team. The Refrigerator is here. We also have Reggie Wayne on the team now. Reggie freaking Wayne. Him and Randy Moss together, that's a dynamic duo. We have Ray Guy here who I uh, drafted. He's a 94 overall already. He will be our punter even though we don't punt. Uh, Brandon Linder is going to be our center because Alex Mack retired or at least isn't on the team anymore so we traded for it uh brandon linder levante david is here patrick peterson is here um sean wade is here we got a good team we got we got a good team it's better than last year's team and we won the super bowl last year so i think we will be fine bro Look at this wide receiving core, though. Randy Moss, Reggie Wayne, Justin Jefferson, A.J. Green, Chris Olave, Chase Claypool. Tight end core is Rob Gronkowski, Noah Fant, and Jeremy Shockey. The offensive line is fantastic. Oh, baby, it is good stuff. Reggie White, A.J. Epinesa, Melvin Ingram, Refrigerator Perry. Richard Seymour will be there soon. Uh, Levante David and Jamie Collins, James Laurinaitis, Brian Erlacher, oh, Lawrence Taylor, Patrick Peterson, Gary on Conley, Sean Wade, Damon Arnett, uh, Grant Delpit's new, John Lynch is here, man, I'm, I'm hyped, and we have the number one overall pick because the Jets traded it to us, so we have the number one overall pick in the draft as long as the Jets stay bad. And since they had the first overall pick, I feel like they still will be bad. But, and we can keep a, an eye on them because they're in our division. So, but I am, I haven't been hyped about a season like this in a while because this team I feel is so good. We got Captain America coming back for his second season, won the Super Bowl last year. He had ice in his veins throughout the playoffs. He was fantastic, except for when I screwed up and, and would throw stupid interceptions but that wasn't his fault he is fantastic at only an 83 overall so we got a new coach anthony lynn sean mcdermott dermot shirt uh bleh, bleh. sean mcdermott served his time is what i was trying to say he went two seasons we gave him two seasons he won two super bowls we'll give anthony lynn at least two seasons what can he do in those two seasons hopefully him being a lower um leveled coach won't hurt our simulation because I think he's only like a level one. And uh, and Sean McDermott is like tw in the, the the low 20s, like a level 22 or something like that. So, oh, I'm hyped. I am hyped. We got to start this season off against the Cincinnati Bengals. I probably should have showed you that while I was in the roster thing. I'll show you guys the Cincinnati roster. They have Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Mike Singletary, Tony Gonzalez, Mike Webster, Sean Taylor, Ezekiel Elliott, Keyshawn Johnson, Cortland Sutton, DeForest Buckner, DK Metcalf, Justin Coleman, Matthew Judon, some scrubs down there. But their main quarterback right here, Joe Montana. How will we deal? How will we deal with that? That is the big question. I do want to check one thing. It keeps says it keeps saying that Sean Alexander is a captain even though he's not a captain. So I don't know why it keeps saying that he is, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, the captains are all the same from last year. Let's finally start... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's finally start season number three with this game against Cincinnati. Make sure to smash that like button on the video, hit the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. Let's get it, boys. 
All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Year number three is underway. Chase Claypool back to return this kick. Obviously, no more Josh Cribs. We let him go to free agency and didn't bring him back, so we have Chase Claypool back there to, to get kicks this year. And on comes Roger Staubach. One of the best picks we've made so far here in, for in this series. And now Earl Campbell. Man, Earl Campbell out here getting big runs. Last year, he obviously struggled a little bit with uh, getting the run game going. Or as a team, we struggled to get the run game going. But Earl Campbell struggled. He got like 600 yards or something on the ground. But hopefully this year he can he can change he's he can change that into some positive stuff he's he's uh, grown a little bit in overall and uh, hopefully he continues to grow in overall as we strive for another Super Bowl appearance three straight carries and he's already got 27 yards so he's he's cooking already here all right let's hot route. Justin Jefferson for a slant. They'll never see this coming. This will be a big play. I guarantee it. I guarantee it'll be a big play. It's not going to be a big play. Throw across your body. That's Rob Gronkowski. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. I turned into Gronk when I shouldn't have, and I screwed that all up. That would have been a catch, too. That's all right. Second down and 10. Staubach trying to hit Gronkowski. That was just good defense. All right, so we've we've done pretty good moving the ball on the ground, but so far in the air, not the same success. But that's why we have Randy Moss. Boom. First catch of the year for Randy. And uh, if you guys don't remember, how could you forget Roger Staubach in the biggest moments of the playoffs, getting it done on the ground with his legs? How could you forget that? So if we need to, to go back to that and, and run the football with, with Staubach, we can do it for sure. He he certainly proved it. And we might have to do it right here. Roger Staubach for a touchdown. Let's go! As I mention it, Roger Staubach takes off and runs. Wide open hole. Captain America into the end zone for the first touchdown of the season. He had a tremendous playoff run, culminating with his first ever Super Bowl trophy. Forrest Gregg's injured our, our rookie that we drafted. I didn't know why he's playing, though. He's a, he should be a backup. That's weird. Hopefully he's not out for too long. But that we, we did pretty good there. I like the way that we started. Started this season out hot. Anthony Lynn's excited. And now we just got to play good defense. We got to stop Joe Montana from uh, from doing his thing. All right, let's see what he's got here. On pass number one is going to be complete. Erlacher was there, but he couldn't get him. Force Greg looks like he just had an elbow sprain. That's perfect. He'll be back. Um, why is Refrigerator Perry not starting? on these possessions. Linval Joseph seems to be starting. And I don't like it. It's because he's that. There we go. Much better. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like me some Linval Joseph, but when you got Refrigerator Perry, you gotta use him. And Richard Seymour with his first sack of his career. Let's go, Richard Seymour. Hopefully we have uh, a lot of that. Hopefully he's look at this look at this defensive line: Reggie White, R William Perry, Richard Seymour, and Lawrence Taylor. That is a god defensive line right there. God tier. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Good job, Brian Urlacher. Hopefully he can have the same success that James Laurinaitis had in his first season, because Laurinaitis was a monster last year. We need to get that same kind of production out of Brian Urlacher. But we stopped him and held him to a three and out. So I have a feeling it's going to be a, an easy trip to the Super Bowl this year. The way that I've built this team, we are looking real good. And I know it's only been not even a quarter, <laughs> a quarter of, of uh, football here in the first in the first game of the season. But I mean, this team looks real good. 
from what I've experienced so far. Earl Campbell probably could have done a little bit better with that. I, I probably missed a hole there, but Zach Taylor still the head coach after two years already in the in the save. Bengals haven't gotten rid of him yet. We need to get this running game cooking here, and it's going to be a big hole for Earl Campbell. The thickest thighs in all the land. Is he going to be gone? He never had a run like this last year, and he got shoestringed. Or shoestrung. I don't know. <laughs> He's got over 100 yards in the first quarter. It's going to be a big day for the thick thighs of Earl Campbell. I cannot believe he didn't get in there, bro. That's so upsetting. He should have had it. He got shoestrings the last second. Seven rushes, 107 yards, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. That's some absolute domination. You know what? I'm not going to go with the fullback because we are at the three-yard line, so it'd be a little bit weird to go with the fullback here. I'm looking at Reggie Wayne. No, nope. Randy Moss. Tiptoe in the back of the end zone. Couldn't get both feet in bounds. That's a little bit upsetting. Hey, I tried. <laughs> Gronk. Boom. I don't know why Gronk was running that route, but he did, and he gets his first touchdown of the season. I don't know why that counts as a spike. <laughs> I hit spike, and he just kicks it off his hand. And boom. So Roger Staubach has his first rushing touchdown of the season and his first passing touchdown of the season, all in the first quarter. And Earl Campbell has 107 yards in, in one quarter of football. If he's on pace to uh, keep up that that running, he's going to have 400 yards by the end of this game. That'd be fantastic. All right, let's see what this defense can do on drive number two. We held him to a three and out last time. What's Joe Montana got up? They really, I was about to say, they rarely used er, uh, Ezekiel Elliott on those three plays in the uh, the first drive. Now they use him here, and he, he got 10 yards, so they probably should use him a little bit more. But let's use her. Let's let's use her, William Perry. Let's let's get some action on him. Oh, come on. All right. We'll use him now. <laughs> Joe Montana didn't want to throw that football. All right. Double teaming him. Laurinaitis was there. I think that's Richard Seymour as well. Laurinaitis isn't going to get beat like that. All right. They doubled Perry, which gave Seymour the chance to get the tackle. So let's see if they continue to double William Perry. Uh, they tried to, but Zeke spins out. And he breaks a tackle. Ezekiel Elliott down the sidelines. It's going to be a touchdown for the Bengals. Ezekiel Elliott, he slipped a tackle and was gone. Feed him. All right, so they do have the threat of Ezekiel Elliott taking into the house like that. I'm not sure who missed the tackle, but they did. It slipped right through his legs. So... All right. Let's get the offense back on here and let them cook. That was a rough, rough possession for the defense, but our running game seems to be unstoppable right now. So let's get it. Let's get it moving here. Earl Campbell, little juke move. Couldn't get much on there. Second down and eight. <clears throat> Stall back under center. Snap. Delayed handoff. Earl Campbell had a gap. There was a gap, man. If I would have just got through that, it would have been gone again, bro. Got the first down. I didn't think I was going to get the first down, but... I'm going to change Justin Jefferson's number because he's got A.J. Green's number, and I don't like A.J. Green wearing 85. That just looks weird. Uh, Brandon Linder, our center, is injured. That is not good. <laughs> That is not good because now we got Ted Karras under center. I may have to move Forrest Gregg back to center if uh, Linder's hurt a long time. I don't know how I got that away, but I did. 
Stawback stats are, are really bad right now. <laughs> I haven't made a lot of smart plays. Uh, Campbell gets stuffed. Campbell gets stuffed at the line. I know we have a 94 overall punter, but... Oh, Reggie, no! No! Reggie Wayne! And Brandon Linder has broken ribs in the first game of the season. I cannot believe that went off of Reggie's hands, bro. All right, John Lynch is there to stop Zeke. Oh, that's so unlucky. Reggie Wayne. Off the hands. One of the best hands in the game. Some of the best hands in the game are from Reggie. And he drops the crucial fourth down. Oh, Zeke hurdling. <laughs> Zeke's jumping people. This is a battle of two great running backs right now. Zeke's got 89 yards. Earl Campbell's got 110, I think, or 113, something like that. Uh, Reggie White's there to slow down Zeke for whatever it is, whatever that's worth. Second and seven. This game's flying by right now. We're almost to the half. 14 to seven. Second down and seven. And it's going to be deflected. Earl Lacker and uh, Lauren Ives were both there. Those are some good cover corners. Look at that draft class, baby. Look at it. Stare at it. That's a good draft class. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for DK Metcalf right here. He's a big body, deep threat. They're going to target DK, but it's off his hands. So just like Reggie Miller, Reggie Miller, just like Reggie Wayne, DK drops their pass, and they have to kick a field goal. They were lucky enough to be in field goal range. We were not. And that's going to be no good. Who's their kicker? Who is their kicker? I gotta check this. Who is the Bengals kicker? That was god awful. Bengals. They got two as their backup. That's cool. Uh, Bengals kick. No, that's kick returner. Kicker. Jay Steele, a rookie. And he couldn't hit that kick? Ah. <laughs> that's a little bit concerning. He couldn't hit that kick. That had to be at least a 43-yarder. That's that's child's play for, for kickers. And Earl Campbell with another big run, bro. This Bengals defense cannot stop the run. Two-minute warning. Still 14-7. to seven. We've been lucky to survive this long. Uh, Going to dump this off to Gronk. I didn't like anything that I saw there. We'll go with this play. Justin Jefferson's coming around. He's going to get a catch here. Boom, bang. And DeForest Buckner is injured. A lot of people getting injured here in week number one. Everybody's trying to knock the rust off. All right, Reggie. And he catches that one. Let's go. Good job, Reggie. I knew that was just a fluke, you dropping that one. Uh, Justin in the back of the end zone. He got it. That's down. Two feet down. No. Did he not get two feet down? I can't even challenge it. Oh, did he not get two feet down? Obviously he didn't because they would have went to a booth review. There's one. Oh. He didn't. No, that's so close. I thought he did for sure. All right, Gronk's out there on the left again. I don't know why he's running those kind of routes. Anthony Lynn's got a weird playbook. Randy Moss picked off in the end zone. Justin Jefferson brings him down, but Staubach throws a pick in week number one. Ooh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but it was Randy Moss, so I thought I'd give him a shot. That's a little bit upsetting. Luckily, DeForest Buckner got hurt for the Bengals, so they had to use one of their timeouts, so they only have one left. They do get the ball to start the second half, so... William Perry? I missed it. Why am I such a bad user? I suck at being a user. 
<laughs> I missed the sack with Perry. Which would have made them use another timeout, and yet Montana just throws up an incomplete pass. All right, we got to get to him here. Get some pressure on Montana. We did, and it's caught. Keyshawn Johnson with the catch. What a catch. That's field goal range. Just like that. That's field goal range right there. Well, who knows with their kicker. Jay Steele, he missed an early one earlier, so... Bring him down. Thank you. And now that's definitely field goal range. He's not missing this. If he misses this, he's a scrub. And it's up and good. Yep. All right. So somehow they end up with a field goal, even though they had one timeout and they had to go like 20 yards. I can't believe that I threw a pick in the end zone, man. That's frustrating. Claypool gets up to the 27. We got one play remaining. Might as well give it to Earl Campbell. He's been actually, no, Mike Allstott's going to take this one. And Allstott gets about two yards. All right, our defense has got to <laughs> change up something. We can't let Montana just throw up and down the field on us. We gotta, we gotta change some things here. Let's see what we can do on the second half. Trey Sanders. I can't believe Trey Sanders is the kicker turner. That's a little bit weird. All right, let's uh, use a Reggie White here and see if we can get some pressure on Montana. Uh, and that'd be a no. And that's going to be a wide open receiver. What are we doing? Erlacher got beat bad. What are we doing, boys? Cortland Sutton just went streaking down the field. All right, boys. Let's, let's uh, tighten up here. They're going to run it with their tight end. Not sure what they were thinking there. Tony Gonzalez got nothing on that. We weren't fooled. Sean Wade was not fooled on that one. All right. 14 to 10, early third quarter. That's going to be wow. An absolute bullet, bro. What a throw from Montana. That, that's got to – I can't even be mad at that throw. That was a fantastic throw. He trusted Keyshawn Johnson to make that catch, and he did. And they're going to run it here, third and inches. They're going to get it by a mile. Erlacher brings him down, but <sighs> man, they are on top of their game here. Ever since that first quarter, they are on top of their game. Zeke going to have a lot of room. Man, we got to tighten it up, boys. The bend don't break mentality. That's what we've lived by for the past two seasons, so let's uh, continue that. Montana with the snap, throw, Gonzalez tackled out of bounds, second and seven, alright boys come on, they're going to give it to Zeke, William Perry was there, so was Laurinaitis, third and five, if we could hold him to another field goal that would be unbelievably cool. That's the ideal situation here. And it's going to be incomplete. Perfect. Keyshawn cannot get back to the ball. And we hold him to another field goal. All right. And it's up and good. So we're up by a point. Early second half. Let's see what we can do on offense. I mean... We've kind of struggled on offense throwing the football, but Earl Campbell's been dominating on the ground, so we might as well just stick with what's working. If Campbell, if they're going to let Campbell run all over him, we might as well keep that going. He's back on the field. Give it to Campbell. 
ran into my offensive lineman, which kind of slowed me down a little bit. That's a little bit frustrating. All right, give me a good block. You're supposed to give me a good block. And our backup center. What is going on? <laughs> our starting center, Brad Linder, or Brandon Linder, whatever your freaking name is, he's hurt. Ted Karras gets hurt. So now Forrest Gregg has to be the, the center, which he was going to be at the start of the season anyway. But what is happening in that center? Why is everybody getting hurt? I got sacked. Wow. I am just such a choke artist, bro. I suck. <laughs> like, no joke. I'm probably the worst Madden player ever. I completely choked that. And I threw a pick. You gotta be freaking kidding me, bro. What is happening? And Ted Karras is out for the rest of the game, too. Both of my centers are out for the rest of this game. What is this, bro? What is happening? Nobody threw a block for Earl Campbell on that last run. He got dropped behind the line. Probably because that's the play that that Karras got hurt, and the guy probably came up through Ted Karras' his block. And now Linval Joseph is down. What is going on with injuries, bro? Why is everybody getting hurt? This is so frustrating. I don't understand what's happening. Lawrence Taylor back there to tackle Zeke before we can do much. Man, I do not know what's going on, bro. Linval luckily can come back, which is fine. I'm glad that he's coming back, but I mean, we gotta we gotta do something. We gotta fix whatever's going on because we are struggling. Staubach's throwing two picks. Both have been my fault, but still. That's back of the end zone. Alright, third and ten. 31 seconds to go in the third quarter. Third down and ten from the 25-yard line. Can we get some pressure on Montana, please? No, it's going to go out of bounds. Alright, no first down. He'll kick another field goal to go up by two. All right, so we'll finally be down in this game, and it took three quarters and a lot of field goals to do it. Unless he misses this. No. <sighs> Lots of frustration right now. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with this team. We have the stuff to be good on paper, and yet our offensive line gets hurt all the time. I don't know why both of my centers are both out for the game. Like, what is that? <laughs> That's not even cool. Big throw, Justin Jefferson! Let's go! Big catch, Justin Jefferson. What a freaking throw. What a throw by, by Roger Staubach and a catch by Justin Jefferson. Earl Campbell trying something. All right, let's go with the actual play I was going to run. I definitely need to change AJ Green's number to 18 because I'm super confused. <laughs> when I see 85 out there, I don't think AJ Green. Third and inches. At least we're in field goal range for Adam Vinatieri. But let's get this third down. He got it. He got it, right? They gave it to him. Let's go. I wasn't sure they were going to. Uh, Campbell rides up to the 22-yard line. All right. Brings up second and eight. I'm not liking the way this game is, has uh, panned out. Uh, Staubach. Good job, my guy. Third and one. Third and one. 
big catch, no offense. Let's go. Really big catch, no offense. On third and one, keeping this drive alive. All right, Campbell, I need you to power this bad boy in. Ooh. From the four. I'm going to give Campbell one more chance to get this in the end zone. He's not going to be able to do it. To the three. I don't know what to do. All right. Justin has a touchdown. Yeah, Justin Jefferson. What a big day. He's come up with the two biggest catches of this game so far. Oh, clean. That was clean. And the extra point is good. All right. Whew. That takes a little bit of the of the nervousness away, but there's still a lot of it. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can stop him here. I think I'm going to use your William Perry again. Come on. Oh. Man, Montana is threading the needle. Joe Montana is threading the needle. Just the snap, the throw. DK Metcalf. Two-minute warning. Second and one from the 46. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Come on, get to him, get to him. Why is he wide open? Keyshawn lost a couple yards, but he still got the first down, so. Come on, come on, get some pressure on Montana. There's a there's a flag. Probably a holding call. It is a holding call, all right. Take him back. First and 20. Oh, that's Keyshawn, and I'm a horrible user right there. There we go, brought him down. They're running low on time here. They gotta make something happen. And DK again. As I say, they got to make something happen. They do. They have to score a touchdown. And William Perry with the tackle. Second and ten, under a minute to go. Can they get the comeback? Sack! Refrigerator! Let's go! That's why we traded for you. Conley wins us the game. Gary on Conley has just iced this game and we survive. Wow. I cannot believe what we just experienced in this game. Oh, man. What? A game, bro. And this is just week one. Absolute wild scenes. If we can get this first down, then it's game over for sure. I mean, they need to score a touchdown. 
And Campbell gets the first down, breaks a tackle. That's the game. We're just going to do a little bit of a QB kneel, and we're going to walk out of Buffalo with a victory. Man, I cannot believe we survived this game. Whew. Cannot believe that we survived this game. But we did. Oh, man, what a, what a scene. Let's check the stats real quick. Staubach, 10 of 18, 125 yards, two touchdowns, two picks. Earl Campbell with 20 carries, 163 yards. He got robbed of that touchdown at the, at the end zone. Uh, Justin Jefferson with one touchdown catch, 53 yards on three catches. He came up so big in that fourth quarter. Uh, Randy Moss only had one catch. Uh, both my centers are injured, so hopefully they're not injured too long. Uh, not anything noticeable on the defensive side of the football, but man, I cannot believe that we survived. What a game. All right. Brandon Linder out for five weeks with broken ribs. So our starting center that we traded for in the preseason is gone for five weeks. Ted Karras will start. Forrest Gregg will back him up. Not ideal, not ideal at all, but it is what it is. He'll be back for our next played game, I think. So hopefully he doesn't get injured in that game as well. But that is going to be the end of this episode. Man, what a what a finale. <laughs> what a finish to that game. It was absolutely wild in that fourth quarter. That does I think that deserves a like. But make sure to smash that like button on the video. Hit the notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!